Hello, and welcome back to Educator.com. Today we're going to talk about DNA mutations and repair. Now, as an overview, first thing we have to talk about is what is the difference between DNA damage and a DNA mutation? Once we understand that difference, we can talk about the various types of DNA mutations that we will come across. And when we come across mutations, um, hopefully we don't even get that far and we can go through DNA repair. Uh, we'll talk about several types of DNA repair processes um, and we will finish up getting ready to move on to the next unit. So first of all, what's the difference between DNA damage and DNA mutation? Well, DNA damage is just an alteration of the chemical structure of DNA. And that can be a break in the DNA backbone, we could have a loss of a nucleotide base, or we could have some sort of chemical alteration of that nucleotide. Now, DNA mutation is a permanent change of that nucleotide sequence. So the mutation will result from DNA damage that is not repaired properly. Right? And it can also result from our replication errors, it can be exogenous or endogenous types of uh, damages that aren't repaired, or we can have what are called indels, and indels stands for insertions or deletions. Okay? And these are often uh, a result of transposable genetic elements, which we call transposons. Now, some of the classes of the DNA mutations, the two main ones that we're going to see are either spontaneous mutations or induced mutations. All right, our spontaneous mutations are our endogenous damage, all right, just as a result of molecular decay. So these are mutations that are due to error-prone replication bypass of naturally occurring DNA damage. Um, and Usually this is from error-prone translesion synthesis, which is a type of uh, DNA repair mechanism that we will talk about later in this unit. Um, these errors are usually introduced during DNA repair. Now, we also have induced mutations, okay, and these are going to be exogenous damage. So this is going to be uh, DNA damage caused by mutagens, whether that be chemicals or radiation. All right? And what we're eventually going to end up with, no matter which one we're looking at is if we have damage and we don't have proper repair, we're going to end up with some sort of pathology, so some sort of uh, possible disease symptoms. And if we see here, a disease cell is when we have more damage than repair going on. A healthy cell will be when we have just as much repair going on as we have damage, so that it's almost like nothing ever happened. Now, some of our spontaneous mutations that we can come across are tautomerism, and that is basically um, a cause of why certain bases will mispair with other bases. Remember, our A's should always double hydrogen bond to T's, and our G's sh should always triple hydrogen bond with C's. Okay, so tautomerism is the repositioning of a hydrogen atom which alters the hydrogen bonding pattern, um, resulting in incorrect base pairing. So this could be, you know, an A maybe pairing with a G or a C, or, you know, a G pairing with maybe an A or a T instead of that um, correct C. All right. Um, now, depurination is the loss of a purine base, forming what's called an apurinic site, and all that means is it's a site that doesn't have the... Um, uh, the purine base, so it doesn't have the nucleotide there. The, the DNA backbone is still there, the sugar, the, the deoxyribose is still there, we just don't have the proper base. Okay. Um, another type is what's called deamination, and that's a loss of an amine group. Remember our amine groups are, are NH2, okay, attached to the alkyl group. Um, and so we lose the amine group, replacing that with a ketone group. So deamination of cytosine will lead to a uracil because cytosine and uracil only differ um, by that amine group. 
Okay. If you deaminate adenine, you can end up with hypoxanthine. And if you deaminate your 5-methylcytosine, that will give you, give you a T. And let's just look at this one really quickly. If we have a cytosine, right? Cytosine should triple hydrogen bond with our guanine up there. But if it's changed to a T, right? If it's changed to a T, what are we going to do? Now that T is going to hydrogen bond with an A instead of the original G. So that can affect what type of mutations we see um, in future generations of the DNA. Um, one of the last type of spontaneous mutations we're going to talk about is called slippage or slip strand mispairing. And what this is is that we have denaturation of uh, the new strand from our template during replication. And that's followed by the renaturation in a different spot. And this can cause uh, deletions. Okay? Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this slippage uh, in a few slides, in which case I'll draw out an example so that we can see what is actually going on here.